I ran the circus, another little boy with a big imagination. Go ahead. <clears throat> if, I, if I ran the circus by Dr. Seuss, in all the whole town, the most wonderful spot, and behind Snilak's door in the big vacant lot, is just the right spot from a wonderful place, said young Morris Mackerx. If I clean up the cans, now, uh, now a fellow like me, said young Morris McGurk, could get rid of this junk with a half hour's work. I could yuck up these weeds and chop down that dead tree. And <laughs> and how of those old cards? There are just two of three, two or three. And then the whole place would be ready, you see. Already to put up the tents from a circus. I think I recall in the circus makers. The circus makers, the world's greatest shows show on on the face of the earth or whenever you go. The circus makers, the queen of the queen, the circus makers, the circus spring, the circus makers, close close closer spending spend suspendence. As touting, fantastic, terrific, tremendous, I bring in my acrobat jugglers and clowns from a thousand and thirty-three faraway towns to the place that you will see him, ladies and gents, right behind the Snilox doors in the greatest, a great Mecca's tent. And I don't suppose old Mr. Snilox will mind. When he suddenly has a big circus behind, after all, Miss, Mr. Snilak is one of my friends. He might even help out doing small olds and ends, doing little old, old jobs. He could be some of eight, such as selling bones and pink lemonade. I think 500 gallons will be about right. And then I'd be ready for opening night. What an opening night. What a night. Night of what a sight. I host up the certains the clouds will crown in. And my circus makers will promptly begin with a welcoming toot on my welcoming horn. By my whole touring apes from the juggle, juggles of John. Where the very best horn tilting apes are all born. Because the very fresh air there is fine for their looks. And some of those fellows have two or three thumbs. This way, step right in. This way, ladies and gents. My side shall start here in the first of my tent. What? When you see what goes on. You'll say no other circuses. Half the great circus, the circus, McCurcuses. Children stage one, from the ocean of wolf. It's a sight most amazing of all named wolf. Who can stand on whisker this wonderful wolf? On top of five balls, two for tennis, three golf. It's a marvelous click, if I say so myself. And on stage number two, you something quite new. From a country called from, come this drum to his numb. Who can drum any tune that you might care to hum? Doesn't hurt him a bit, cause he's drum to his numb. And you'll now meet the fun, the remarkable fun, who eats seasoning hot pebbles that fall off the moon. And the reason he likes them right hot, it appears. He secretly enjoys blowing smoke from his ears. Of course, pebbles like this are quite hard to collect, but Snilook will manage somehow, I expect. After all, Mr. Snilook is one of my friends, and I'm sure he'll help out doing small odds and ends. And on stage number four, see the Willy Wallow, who can throw his long tails as a sort of lasso. With a flip of his hips with a tail of this kind. He can capture whatever is standing behind. He can capture old Snilook, I'm sure he won't mind. And now here's the hood wing who wings in his wing coat. Without a good wing coat, a hood wing can wing good. And folks, let me tell you, there's only one circus. With wing coated hood wings, the circus may carcass. The show of all shows, there's no other showman. Who shows you a show with a blindfolded bowman? The blindfolded bowman from Bigger Barot. The world's sharpest sharpshooter look at him shoot. Throw the holes in four donuts, two hairs on the worm. 
and the knees of three birds without making them squirm, and then throw a crab apple up on the head. A snook who likes to help out as I've said. And now come to the spot where the spotlight is hot, and you'll see in this spotlight a juggling joat, who can juggle some stuff you might think he could not, such as 22 question marks, which is a lot. Also, 44 commas, and also one dot. That's a kind of circus McGurkis I've got. But that's just my sideshow, a start, a beginning, this way to the big tent. You'll find your head spinning. While, ladies and gentlemen, youngsters and oldsters, your heads will quite likely spin right off your shoulders. So hurry, step lively, quick, ladies and gents, my, and get into your seats in my tent of all tents. My parade, the parade is about to commence. You'll see drum major sneal a fling flang his baton, and my organ, my organ, my Gurkis come on with his hot steaming pipes of gold brass plated tin, snoring all sorts of snores in a bumbling thin. This that is first do pandas, do mandas, do roar this. And when I play Dixie, please join in the chorus. Then a fluff muffle truffle will ride on a huffle, and next in the line, a fine flummox will shuffle. The flummox will carry a large in a pail. Uh, uh, okay. Um, Sorry. That's okay. Uh, uh, a feeble will carry the flummox's tail, while on top of the flummox will three harps twanging snarp will twang mighty twangs on their three sharper harp, while a bolster blows bloops on a three nozzle bluser, a nozzler blows flops on a one nozzle noozer, and then comes a lion who's partly a trot, then more stuff for 45 minutes about. And then behind them then, while everyone stares, come to my toe and fro marchers who march in five layers, the frost march on toes and the toes march on frost. Don't know how they do it, but that's how it goes. And now comes an act of enormous, enormous. No former performers perform this performance. This stunt is too gripplingly, slight, slippingly frightening, down to from the top of the tent like great lightning, through pots full of lots of big sticklebush trees, slides a man, what a man, on his roller skate skis. Very nice. Definitely the hardest oh. part. Go ahead. And still, with a fear, you know, at a glance, this is Nilok, the man who can take chance after chance, and he won't even rip a small hole in his pants. And now here in this cage is the beast most ferocious, who known far and wide as the spotted atrocious, who grow high and yell the mud blue curling sounds, and his two in his mouth weigh at least sixty pounds. And he chews up and eats with the greatest of its things like carpets and sidewalks and peoples and trees. But the great colonial sneelog is just the right kind of the man who can tie me, I'm sure he won't mind. Then I'll let Snilog go off for a few minutes rest, while high over your heads you see the best best. Of the wood finest fancies breezy trampezing, my Zuma Zoop troop from west upper bandizing, who never quite know while they zoop and they zoom. Whether which will get what one and who will get one and who, who will get wit by the what and just where and just when and just how written in which parts of the air. I I were the circus, my circus me gookus, my workers love work, they say workers, please workers. We walk and we walk up so many surprises you never see half if you had forty eyes. And now against Sneelog, brief Sneelog is back risking life on my patent, life risking track. While the speed star I call my colliding collusion rise round in swift car called the uprushing contusion. And Sneelog just slightly, no one bit excited. I know he won't mind he'll be simply delighted. And here, in the contest of brute strength and muscle, kids kneel like my champ of all champ will now tussle, and wrestle up beast called the greasiest ghast, and slap him around, then he slam him down fastly, and pin both his shoulder, tight flat to the mat, kids kneel like will love it, I'm sure about that. And while that goes on there, look at this gone here, have you heard my heard of through horn jumping deer? Every deer jumps through horns of another palmer.
Wireless horns are jumped through at the same time as well. While a deer whose horns are also being jumped through. While another who's having his horns jumped through too. Which I'm sure trainers in the law can train them to do. Then the whole tent will ring with rays and wild shouts. When I feel in my wheels and they turn on the spot. First my wheel number one with an aim that aims true. Spot the spot that spots me look to wheel number two. And then wheel number two spot is spot like a gun. And the spot spots all Snilo right back to wheel one. And then forwards and backwards spot after spot. My gray spot lighter Snilo gets spotted about. Just as long as water they, they are spouting horse out. Then my tournament knights, noble apes without fears. Sir Hector, Sir Vector, Sir Bobs and Sir Beers, Sir Hawkwind, Sir Dogwind and Sir Jocks and Sir Jeers. Clatter into the tent and while everyone cheers. Stater rusts about just with their boxing gloves spears, and while all this while ruckusing goes on below, and the top of the tent looked the star of my show. Great da daredevil Snilock, the world's bravest type. He comes pulled through the air by three sovereign snipe. On a dingle's contraption attached to his pipe, and while people below are, are turning chalk white, and all biting their fingernails. Nails of their flight, Grace and Lock soar up to the terrible height. Though he shake himself loose, he sturdy he stirs down in the dive, such as no man on earth could come out of life. But he smiles and as he falls, and no fear does he feel. He nerves are like iron, his muscle like steel, and he plunges down down, with his hair still combed neat, four thousand six hundred and ninety two feet. Then he'll land in a fishbowl he's managed to find. Don't ask how he'll manage. That's his job, not mine. Why he'll be a hero, of course he won't mind. When he finds that he has a big circus behind. Oh, that's so good. So good, guys. Very nice. Wow. Yeah, that's the hard one. And they did a great job. 